Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about a concept called the Jacobian, so the Jacobian matrix, which is defined as follows. It is essentially a really big matrix, so it can have the following, can have some function 1, we uh, differentiate with respect to one variable, then f of 1 with respect to another variable, and so on, and then it can have f2, respect to first variable then f2 with respect to second variable and so on and it just keeps going like that so depending if you have a function of multiple variables then you basically will take the derivative of that function with respect to each of those variables or or if you have a a basically a variable that is represented as a function of another uh, few variables then you would take the derivatives and you would put it into this form so why do we talk th why do we need to talk about the Jacobian and why is it important and how is it used in calculus? Well, let's say that you were interested in solving a problem and this and this is used quite a lot in integration with multiple variables. So let's say th that you are defining a problem in which you want to integrate something like an area or, or a region or volume. And then but then using Cartesian coordinates was inconvenient because obviously it, it would make the integral either impossible or too compl complicated and and you found that maybe there's a way in which you can parameterize x and y in terms of other variables such that you can simplify that process and in doing so what you would be doing is you're transforming the coordinate system and along with it you're transforming the region upon which you're performing that operation in, in for example integration so if you transform the region, then the shape of the region is going to change accordingly, and it's going to adapt to the new set of coordinates, and let's call this u and v. This is just a two-dimensional example, but this can be extended to any number of variables or dimensions that you want to work with. So basically, the Jacobian is going to be the, the determinant of this particular matrix is going to tell you the quantity that you need to know in order to perform that operation and in order to actually perform that integration given that change of variables. So to give you an example, let, let's suppose that we have the Jacobian defined as uh, in two dimensions. It is usually written in the following way, x and y, partial of u and v, so this is a way in, with, in which you can write partial derivatives and it just means that you're going to take x is a function of u and v, y is a function of u and v, so you're going to differentiate each of them. So this is going to be the determinant of the following matrix. x with respect to u, x with respect to v, then y with respect to u, and y with respect to v. And if you remember your cross multiplication for a 2 by 2 determinant, you will know that this reduces to xu, then yv minus xv yu. So that's going to be your determinant. So just to give you an example, let's consider the, the case of transforming from Cartesian coordinates to polar coordinates. So polar coordinates have the following parameterization. We're going to represent x as r cosine of theta. And we're going to represent y by r sine of theta. And this essentially comes from the fact that if you, if you draw a circle of radius r on the xy plane, so that's the radius, and then you have some, the rotation is going to be given by the angle of theta. Then basically you can you can project every every single point along that circle by having the components of that vector that is pointing from the origin to the circumference in any of those along any of those points on the circle. So that's a, the parameterization in polar coordinates. So now if we want to convert, if we want to find the Jacobian, which is it's just gonna be the quantity that allows for that transformation to be complete you can consider it like a scaling factor or something of that sort and this is something that we will explore a little bit more when we actually introduce double integrals and triple integrals but for now let's let's evaluate that quantity so the Jacobian of this transformation of coordinates so that's going to be 
x, y with respect to r and theta. So the or new two variables are going to be r and theta. You can see that x and y are both functions of those two. So this is going to be partial derivative of x. So let's just write it directly here. So let's differentiate x with respect to r. So that's the first one. So that's going to be cosine of theta. Then let's differentiate x with respect to theta. So that's going to be minus r sine theta. Then the next one is going to be y with respect to r. So that's going to be sine. And then y with respect to theta. So that's going to be r cos theta. Now we cross multiply. We get r cos squared theta minus minus r sine theta times sine theta, so that's r sine squared theta. And then basically this is just going to be equal to r. So this is the scaling factor, or the Jacobian, of this transformation from Cartesian coordinates to polar coordinates. And we can extend this to three dimensions if we were using another coordinate system, so long as we can define uh, our original coordinate system in terms of the new coordinates. We can always perform the transformation, and the Jacobian allows us to find that factor, that scaling factor, that is going to allow for that transformation to be complete. And for uh, if we want to evaluate integrals in that new coordinate system, then using the Jacobian is going to be what allows for that integration to be possible. And in the next video, we're actually going to be talking about partial integration, and after that, we're going to actually start talking about double integrals and triple integrals. And this concept of the Jacobian is going to come, um, is going to come up a, a few more times when we perform integration in different coordinate systems. So make sure that you understand it. And in the next video, we will talk a little bit about integration with partial, uh, with functions of several variables.